if you move them into a complex habitat, they may not, they literally may not know how to eat in there because they've never had been taught to do that. So breeders that are raising these animals in racks and not giving them outside experiences outside of the tubs or giving them enrichment in the tubs are basically raising them to thrive with other rack breeders. They're not raising them and preparing them to live in a home with a family in a complex habitat because they aren't exposing them to any of the things that they're going to encounter when they move from that tub to the home. So when you move one from a breeder to your home, I recommend getting a little tub and setting it up identical to how the breeder had it, even if it's just a water dish and substrate. And then I cut a hole in it and I put it in the, the um, complex viv. And so the snake can come out when they feel ready on their own and then sometimes they will eat in the tub until they learn that they can eat other places. And you can facilitate them learning those things by um, through target training or station training or puzzle feeding or foraging exercises. But initially I just put the tub in the viv and I leave the snake alone and they can figure out, I guarantee when they wake up, they're gonna find that hole because that's what they do at night. They have observed it, they push on the lid. So they're gonna find that hole and then they're gonna stick their head out. And then it's their choice when they feel brave enough to come out and explore the habitat at large or not. And some of them do it right away and really never go back to their tub. And then others really are attached to that tub for a longer period of time and end up using the tub as their hide and then use the rest of the viv when they're awake and active during the night. And in those cases, like I, there's really no reason for me to take the tub out. If they're using it, I leave it in there. But it makes a smoother transition and the animal's not in so much shock. And it doesn't matter what the change is, whether you're going from an extremely complex environment to one that's disparate or one that's very um, deprived, or if you're going from a deprived environment to one that's very complex, it's stressful either way. It's very stressful. Even though we know that the snakes have more agency and more behavioral opportunities in a complex habitat, if they have only ever known a tub, it's going to be extremely distressing for them to suddenly go from that to this whole world of complexity. And so I mean, I feel it's our responsibility to try to make that transition go smoothly and minimize that transition stress. But on the flip side, if a snake or other animal's been raised in a complex situation and then they change owners and go live in a rack, that's also going to be extremely distressing for them. In fact, there's two studies that show um, when animals have lived with environmental complexity, or the other study was more specifically about agency, when they had a lot of choice and control, and then were moved to an environment that had no environmental complexity and would be termed simplistic or deprived, that um, they do not do well. It, it decreases their welfare and well-being, and sometimes they start exhibiting lethargy and depression and go off food and other things. So, it's almost actually these two studies showed that that was worse than if the animal had never known the complexity or the higher sense of agency in the first place. So it's much, much worse on the animal's well being to move them from a complex situation to a deprived one versus the other way around. Because once you know that complexity, once you've had agency, once you've had choice and control, and that's taken away, it's extremely detrimental to emotional well being. This video was but a section of a larger interview with Laurie Torini, so if you like this sort of content and the level of science and detail that Laurie is going into, you can find the full length episode and much more information right here.